You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. This is the Monday Night Community Show with me, Daniel, on BRFM 95.6, our very own community radio station. And now it's time to hear the interview I did with Ian Goodwin from the Royal British Legion. This is what Ian had to say when I spoke to him when I was out and about. Primarily, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the poppy appeal for this year, and uh, it's part of our launch uh, process. Each year, the nation shows its support for our work, uh, which is the Royal British Legion, through the poppy appeal. Now, every poppy helps us to support the British Armed Forces past and present and their families, and we need your help all year, not just in November. So please give generously and wear your poppy with pride. A little bit about the Poppy Appeal. Each year the nation expresses unequivocal support for the Royal British Legion work through the Poppy Appeal. The Appeal is the Legion's biggest fundraising campaign and in 2013 was launched nationally on Thursday the 24th of October with a concert for the service personnel and their families. Now the 2013 Poppy Appeal focused on the range of work the Legion does to support armed forces families whether there are families of personnel or on active services uh, on active service or those currently in transition from military to civilian life all of veterans now every poppy helps us to support the british armed forces past and present and their families so please give generously and wear your poppy with pride um, it would be uh, important just to reflect on the history of the poppy appeal. Uh, poppies were first suggested as a symbol of remembrance in 1918 and were adopted by the American Legion in 1920. In 1921 the British Legion adopted it and the first poppy appeal was born. The first appeal uh, raised £106,000 which was nearly £30 million in today's terms and all the poppies were supplied from France. In 1922, the poppy factory was established in the UK to keep costs down and employing disabled ex-servicemen to make the poppies. Note that poppies were sold when the appeal started, but charity legislation now requires them to be distributed in return for donations. Over the past 15 years, the Legion has called on a variety of celebrities and beneficiaries to help launch and promote the poppy appeal from a wide range of locations. In 1997, uh, they bridged the generation gap with the Spice Girls, teaming up with Dame Vera Lynn. Dame Vera uh, had an encore performance in 2009, pairing with Hayley Westrum. The music industry featured quite often with Westlife in 1999, S Club 7 with Thora Heard in 2000, Hearsay in 2001, Catherine Jenkins in 2006, and The Saturdays in 2010, all participating. And I know that Rod Stewart has performed at the annual Remembrance, uh, service, Remembrance uh, service, which is normally done at the Royal Barbet Hall on the Saturday before uh, the Remembrance Sundry. Sunday. Now, sporting stars Kelly Holmes and Michael Vaughan featured in the 2004 and 2005, respectively. And in 2007, our beneficiaries took centre stage with a new star, Puppy Man, who went to Basra in 2008 for our award winning live broadcast. Um, the Poppy Appeal starts in October each year, so it's coming up very shortly, and totals are calculated based on the Legion's financial year, which runs from October to September. Due to the large amounts of money collected, it can take some time for this to flow through our large organisation. This year, our volunteers have been really active and despite all the challenges, have so far raised, up to now, uh, just over £34 million. So that's going from last year to, to now, in, in October last year, 2013. And although we were slightly behind last year's exceptional 90th anniversary numbers, our teams have worked exceptionally hard to bring in this impressive amount and we celebrated their uh, achievements. Now, our welfare work is a lifetime of thousands, is, is a lifeline for thousands of serving and ex service persons, and we can only do this with your help from people like you. So please donate today. No gift is too small to make a difference. You can, make a, you, you can select to make a single donation now or a regular gift 
that will continue to make a, a difference. So the things you can do, for instance, if you give two pounds, you could help us support wounded service people adapt to their new circumstances. Twenty-five pound could help us provide food to a family in crisis. Remember, you can always donate by phone, and I'm going to give you a number where you can donate by. It's 0845 845 1945. That's 0845 845 1945. Or you can go by your mobile you, to, to donate, for instance, uh, £3. Text POPPY to 70020. That's text POPPY to 70020. Uh, the cost is £3 plus standard network charges. And typically £2.97 goes to the POPPY appeal. To date, £10, you text 70111. 70111. Text POPPY to 70111 and that's £10. Okay, there are more ways you can give. You can donate by post. You can set up a monthly donation or make a single donation by post. Um, again, you'll get all of this on our website. If you just Google the Royal British Legion, you'll get all the ways that you can actually donate. You can give through your payroll, a tax-free way of giving through gross pay. You can do giving of shares, which can offer significant tax advantages. Uh, you can do gift aids, uh, making sure that you click the gift aid box. And it, in essence, those are all the different ways. And as I say, if you Google the Royal British Legion, you'll go straight onto the website and it's all on there, all the information. In terms of Sheerness, for our particular poppy launch, that's going to take place on Saturday, the 25th of October, at the Holy Trinity Church in Sheerness, in the actual hall itself, uh, which is adjoined to, to the church. So we look forward to seeing everyone there. And if you want to make a donation, that's where it all kicks off. We kick off about 9.30 on Saturday, the 25th of October, at the Holy Trinity Church in Sheerness. And I hope to see as many of you as possible down there on that day. Thank you very much, Daniel. As always, thank you.